Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss Prelab for Experiment 6 Standing Wave. So the link outcome is at the end of this lesson, students are able to explain the experiment to investigate standing wave from in the straight string. For introduction, questions number one, what is the meaning of standing wave? So standing wave is a form of wave in which the profile of the wave does not move through the medium. To sketch the standing wave form in the stretch string and label not and also anti not. Okay, so if you refer here, not here is actually refers to the place where the displacement is equal to zero. Okay, so anti not is the maximum displacement or we call it amplitude. Number three, how standing wave is formed from the superpositions of two or more waves and these two or more waves are traveling in the same region the resultant displacement in any point is the vector sum of the individual displacement at that point okay so next one question number four okay what is the symbol and the si unit of mass per unit length okay so mass per unit length is actually mu and the unit is kg per meter okay Experiment questions number five. State the manipulative and also responding variable in this experiment. So the manipulative variable is the mass of the slotted mass, and also the responding variable is the length between the two consecutive knots. Okay, so we will take the length only from two consecutive knots. Okay, so meaning that from knots to knots. Okay, next one. Okay, construct the table for the value of m and also l. Okay, so here we have the mass and the slotted mass unit is in gram and the length of two consecutive knots we use meter rule to measure so therefore the uncertainty is plus minus 0 0.1 cm okay next sketch the free body diagram to show that t equals to weight okay so for the string string if you're referring to the slotted mass tension is going upward and the weight of the slotted mass will acting downward okay so suggest a way to determine the actual value of mass per unit length of the string or the wire used in this experiment Okay, so first step is you need to weight the mass and uh, measure the total length of the string. So by using equation mu equals to mass over length, so we will get the value of mu, uh, mass per unit length. Number nine, suggest how to identify the positions of two consecutive knots formed in the string. Okay, so usually we will use a wooden wedge to measure by positioning the wooden wedge at the two consecutive knots. Okay, question number 10. Write the equations for the period and also the frequency. So from the equations given, T is equal to from mu F square L square. Okay, so this is the graph and construct an observation table. So because we want to plot T against L square, so therefore we need to find T where T is equal to mg and L square, you just square the length. Okay, but you must change cm into a meter. Okay, number 13, how do you determine the mass per unit length from the graph? So from the gradient, we know that m is equal to from mu F square, so we will get the answer for mu where mu is equal to m over 4f squared okay 14 throughout the experiment the terminals are connected to alternating current power supply ac power supply so in your opinion why does this essential okay it's actually alternating current power supply it helps to produce the vibration in the string okay so we will so therefore the standing wave will form in this experiment okay so that's all for today thank you bye